My name is Davide. I am uh, from a small town in northern Italy. My parents had a bakery, so I learned uh, business uh, from, from them. And uh, I graduated in industrial engineering from uh, Polytechnic of Milan. I then started my career in London as an investment banker, uh, which I enjoyed very much, but I wanted to apply engineering to something more exciting and uh, more useful. So I decided to come to MIT for graduate school. So I got my PhD in the Department of Mechanical Engineering with a focus on uh, biomaterials. And then I started then my second career uh, in uh, the area of uh, cardiology at Children's Hospital. Uh, so I was a researcher and uh, once again I developed nanomaterials for biomedical applications. Then with a friend also from MIT I started my first startup company called Firefly and uh, we developed uh, a multiplexed diagnostic platform that was based on uh, microfabricated particles that were individually encoded. The company was acquired and then I came back to the field of entrepreneurship and I was introduced to the team that invented the technology behind my current startup, which is Inkbit. So the team uh, had been working for several years in the Department of Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence under the guidance of Professor Wojtek Matusik. And uh, so Wojtek also is an MIT graduate and uh, his vision is to marry the field of uh, computation, artificial intelligence with the field of manufacturing. The long-term goal is to obtain fabrication systems that are fully automated and that can learn from their own mistakes and become better and better over time. So that's also the vision behind uh, Inkbit. So we have built the first 3D printer with eyes. So we have created an ultra-fast uh, optical tomography scanner that uh, at each layer after the position, scans the topography and compares what happened with, with what was supposed to happen. And if there are any discrepancies, they will be corrected. So once you have a printer, once you have a machine with a set of eyes, it becomes a qualitative fundamental change in the way 3D printing operates. You can do things that were just not possible before. So at the most basic level, our machine is much more precise, much more reliable and repeatable than existing machines. We can also integrate external components, external objects inside 3D printed parts. Um, but most importantly, once you have a machine with eyes, it's the first step for having a machine that learns. So let's say, for example, that you want to use a material that has difficult properties. For example, epoxy, which is a very common material for electronics, has a tendency to flow uh, after printing. How do you obtain the geometry that you want if your material changes after you have deposited it? The only way, and because we have a set of eyes inside the machine, is to create an artificial intelligence network uh, a neural network that uh, learns material behavior at every step. It's precisely because we have a scanner, we have eyes, we have a machine vision system integrated into the machine that scans the product in real time that uh, we can allow the machine to learn material behavior at every step. 